Hi kids. My assembly this week is about empathy. Empathy is a super important skill that we can all learn. Now you might have heard of empathy, but you might not know very much about it. So let me tell you. So what is empathy? Empathy is being able to put yourself in someone else's shoes and guess how they're feeling in any particular moment. And empathy is a great skill to have because it allows you to build relationships with other people and it makes your friendship stronger and it helps in family bonding. So today I'm going to teach you the skill of empathy and this weekend I want you to try it. Okay. All right. So empathy is simply the ability to tap in to how someone else might be feeling. So I'll give you an example. I went to the park with my son for our one hour of daily exercise and we saw some of his friends from school. And unfortunately, because of social distancing, he couldn't play with them. He couldn't play with them in the way that he wanted to. And they looked at each other and said hi and we kept going and they kept going. And on the way home, my son got pretty grumpy. Now, I could have just said, get over it but that's not very helpful and it doesn't build bonds and it doesn't build relationships. So instead I practiced empathy. So I noticed that Sam was getting pretty grumpy. And so I guessed how he was feeling. I named how I thought he might be feeling. And I said, Hey Sam, are you feeling disappointed that you didn't get to play with your friends? And at first he said, no, no, no. And he's quite still grumpy. But then after a few steps, he said, yes, yes, maybe. And his little shoulders came down and he sighed a big sigh. And so by me recognizing how he might be feeling, he felt better and we were able to build a bond. And that's the magic thing about empathy. And you don't have to fix anything. I couldn't fix it. I can't fix the fact that currently we can't play with our friends. We just can't. I can't fix that, but I can tap into how I think someone is feeling and in that way, make a connection. And that's what makes people feel better. So I'm going to teach you three steps for practicing empathy. Okay. And I want you to practice these three steps this weekend. And it's very, very straightforward. Okay. Notice. So N, notice, guess, G, okay, and A, agree. Notice, guess, agree. So let me give you an example. Maybe mom or dad is pretty grumpy with you. Think about it. And you might want to say something like, um, mom, are you grumpy with me because I didn't pick up my toys because you feel frustrated that you've asked me to pick up my toys and I haven't done it? and then wait. Okay. So you're guessing, you're guessing, you've noticed, and now you're guessing how someone feels. And it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. This is, this is the great thing about empathy. You've tried, you're reaching out and you're saying, I notice that you might be a bit upset. You might be a bit frustrated. Okay. And then whatever the person says, you just agree. So if your parents say, Oh, no, honey, I'm, I'm just distracted because work is really hard right now. Or if they say, yes, I've asked you to pick up your toys a million times and you haven't done it. Whatever it is, just agree. Yeah. Okay. Gosh. Yeah. I can see why that's really frustrating because it is. And all you need to do is notice, guess and agree. And by doing that, you're practicing empathy and you're building stronger bonds with people. It's a great skill. I want you to try it. Okay. Try it on your parents. Try it on your siblings. Try it on your friends. It would have to be over maybe social media or over a screen, but just try it. Uh, it's a fantastic skill kids. And I think what you'll find is the more that you do it, the more you build a, a, the ability to recognize how people are feeling because we all have feelings. And as you know, all feelings are okay but how we deal with them is up to us. Okay. So good luck with that. Practice some empathy this weekend. Let me know how it goes. Bye for now. Be true.